Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, An Introduction to Immuno-Oncology at Milton Biotech. I am Michelle Ashton of LabRoots, and I'll be your moderator for today's event. Today's educational web seminar is presented by LabRoots and brought to you by Milton Biotech. To learn more, visit miltonybiotech.com. We encourage you to participate today by submitting any questions you may have during the presentation. To do so, simply type them into the Ask a Question box and click Send. Your questions will be answered by our speaker after the broadcast via email. You may also submit any technical issues here as well if you have any trouble seeing or hearing the presentation. This presentation is educational and thus offers continuing education credits. Please follow the process to obtain your credits by clicking on the Continuing Education Credits window. I would like to now welcome our speaker, Dr. Marcello Stein, the Global Product Manager and Group Leader in Immunology T-Cells at Milton e Biotech. Marcello, you may now begin your presentation. Welcome everybody to an introduction to Immune Oncology at Milton e Biotech. In the next 30 minutes, we will briefly cover the basics of immune oncology and what you can expect from us as a biotech company in this field. This presentation will thereby also function as an introduction to our whole immune oncology webinar series. Here is an important disclaimer that states that, unless otherwise specifically indicated, Milton Biotech products and services are for research use only and not for therapeutic or diagnostic use. Please acknowledge. Thank you. As for the agenda, we will have a short general introduction to immune oncology, define the term more in detail, clarify how we as Milton Biotech cover this topic, and finally, what solutions we can offer to support your immune oncology research. So let's begin with a brief presentation of our company. Milton e. Biotech was founded in 1989 by Stefan Milton e. himself and is the largest owner-managed company in Germany. We have two main sites in Germany, one in Bergisch Gladbach, where the headquarters are located, and one in Tetero with our GMP manufacturing facility. Our products are sold in over 100 countries and we currently employ around 3,000 employees worldwide. Our mission is to serve the needs in life science research and to translate new scientific findings into clinical applications. So, of course, immune oncology is one of the most prominent fields we as a company are active in. For more than 30 years, Milton e. Biotech empowers the advancement of biomedical research and enables discovery in cell and gene therapy. However, what is immune oncology? Definitely a topic on the rise as covers of well-known scientific magazines show. Bristol Myers Squibb very nicely describes that immune oncology seeks to activate the body's natural immune response to fight cancer. Indeed, brief and to the point. This means that the immune system interacts with a tumor in several ways, either leading to an anti-tumor response or worse, to tumor evasion. Effectors like T cells, NK cells, and macrophages are able to kill tumor cells under the right circumstances and elicit an anti tumor response. On the other hand, suppressors like T Rex, MDSCs, may downregulate set effectors and even support tumor growth. Finally, the tumor itself might interact with the effectors, for example, via checkpoint inhibition, and inhibit their activities. All these interactions are points of leverage to either attack or protect the tumor. Immune oncology exactly addresses these points in order to modulate the equilibrium and tip it over in the direction of an anti-tumor response. Thereby, there are many different ways to target cancer. Besides the conventional approaches like surgery, radio and chemotherapy, immune therapies are on the rise. Researchers all over the world work on the development of anti-cancer drugs. In the field of immune oncology, such drugs are, for example, tumor targeting or immunomodulatory antibodies that act on checkpoint inhibition or act as stimulatory signals. 
Furthermore, anti-cancer vaccines, oncolytic virus therapy, and adoptive transfer of gene-engineered immune cells like T-cells, NK cells, or other cells are applied. Finally, also cytokine infusion can be exerted to further modulate the immune system. To have all these approaches available, immune oncology has come a long way. Defining moments and key players in immune oncology research, as well as first steps in immunotherapy, go, far, go as far back as 1891. Pioneer William Coley, for example, first understood that the immune system can fight cancer and used bacteria to induce an anti-tumor immune response. And after a series of immune oncology milestones, we got finally our first FDA-approved CAR T-cell therapy in 2017. However, also the Milton Biotech has its own immune oncology history and milestones since its founding back in 1989. The game-changing potential of MAX technology was not only immediately adopted by pioneering researchers, but also led to new internal developments, finally culminating in the foundation of Milton D. Biomedicine GmbH that is fully dedicated to new immunotherapeutic approaches. And all these milestones resulted in the development of thousands of therapeutic agents, of whose the majority is still in the research stage. So there's still a lot of work ahead, but Milton e Biotech will do its best to support immune oncology all along the way. For the past 30 years, Milton e has built a deep and active network in the immune oncology field. Through our academic grid, we have partnered in many international and national consortiums to build knowledge and push immune oncology research. So we are part of a key learning societies like AACR and EBMT and organize events that gather experts in the field, encouraging scientific exchange and collaboration. For Milton e. Biotech, this means that we can support the immuno-oncology research in different fields such as cellular therapies like CAR T-cells, therapeutic antibodies such as checkpoint inhibitors, drug discovery, for example, in compound screening, new antigen vaccination when assessing, for example, immunogenic peptides, and finally, also other immuno-oncology-related fields such as graft engineering. In fact, working closely with basic researchers, clinical researchers, and clinicians, we developed a fully translational portfolio spanning from bench to bedside and obtained a deep understanding of immuno-oncology research and commercial cell therapy requirements. Well, there are several ways to categorize or assess our immune oncology portfolio. One way is to divide the different products into the immune cell subtypes they are meant for, like T cells, B cells, dendritic cells, monocytes, or NK cells. Another way is to arrange the product into specific immune oncology workflows, following thereby an immune oncology experiment that requires a specific set of product solutions that we can then prearrange and provide for. And finally, our immune oncology products can be grouped into their respective technology categories like cell separation, cell culture, or flow analysis. So let's have a closer look at the different ways to assess our immune oncology portfolio. And I'm sure you'll easily find your best immune oncology solution. As mentioned before, we have dedicated cell separation, cell culture, and analysis products for the most important immune cell types in immune oncology research. NK cells, T cells, B cells, dendritic cells, and other myelid cells are all well covered with very specific solutions. On our website, www.miltonibiotech.com backslash immune oncology, you will find dedicated chapters containing all products suited for the respective cell types, as well as extensive marketing material ranging from brochures to protocols to webinars. A more workflow-oriented approach groups our products into research fields like, for example, CAR T-cells, antigen-specific T-cells, therapeutic antibodies, or the tumor microenvironment. In such workflows, like depicted on the lower right side for the CAR T-cell workflow, all product solutions that you need for a respective field of immune oncology interests 
and to successfully form a, a given experiment are covered from start to, uh, to finish. Reference data is of course included. Last but not least, our immune oncology products can be categorized into their respective technologies. Sample preparation, cell separation, cell culture, and cell analysis. If at a given step of your experiment, a respective instrument or reagent is needed for, let's say, cell separation or the culture, choose from our respective technologies to op optimize your own workflow. However, whatever way you choose to look at our portfolio and to categorize the products, it will be for sure helpful to find your ideal immuno-oncology solution. The question is now, where do you get all this information to find the optimal solutions for your immuno-oncology research? Well, we have several info or contact points for you to choose from. Most importantly, there's our immuno-oncology website with all the immuno-oncology cell type and workflow categories. Furthermore, we have educative webinars compiled that cover immuno-oncology topics in depth. And finally, you can meet us personally and talk directly to us at congresses and symposia. So, well, let's have a closer look at all these information hubs. The main info hub of our immuno-oncology activities is our immuno-oncology landing page. You can access it via www.miltonibiotech.com backslash immunoncology. Please check from time to time for news and updates. There are two main link connections that will bring you either to the different immunoncology research interests or to our immunoncology activities. In the upper row, you will find the immunoncology research field as so-called application tiles leading you to the different sections such as CAR T cells, therapeutic antibodies, tumor infiltrating leukocytes, antigen specific T cells or drug discovery. In the lower row, however, you'll find our immuno-oncology activities such as congresses and symposia, the immuno-oncology innovation award, our immuno-oncology webinar series and the local immuno-oncology max days. Talking about activities, we are present on all major immuno-oncology relevant congresses such as AACR, ISAF, AAI, and many more. The upcoming ones are, for example, SIMT, AAI in Mai, and we are happy to meet you there. Another important activity is our Immuno-Oncology Innovation Award. Submit your conference abstract, and innovative research will be awarded with travel accommodation registration to selected immuno-oncology meetings. The next travel award will be given for the DC 2020. The abstract submission deadline is at August 26. Of course, also our immuno-oncology webinar series is the most valuable source for immuno-oncology specific content. Older webinars can be listened to as recordings while for the newer ones you can attend live. Our immuno-oncology webinars cover topics like therapeutic antibodies, CAR T cells, drug discovery, and the tumor microenvironment. Upcoming, next, in May and September are respectively our latest solutions to improve CAR T cell research and therapeutic antibody research, discovery of functional assays. And finally, Milton Biotech encourages the networking of immune oncology and the cell therapy researchers around the world with local meetings, such as the Immuno Oncology Max Days, that you will find for sure also in your area. Upcoming next are the Max NK Day in Madrid in June, as well as the Max IO Days in Beijing and Paris in June and July, respectively. Well, Let's now have a very brief look at some of the immuno-oncology topics that we will cover um, and the workflows that we provide. Details can be found in the respective application tiles on the immuno-oncology landing page and of course in our webinars. For example, we cover the tumor microenvironment. Understanding the immune response within the tumor is crucial to develop new immunotherapy approaches. Tumor infiltrating leukocytes such as T cells, B cells, and NK cells, as well as myelin cells, interact with the tumor in different ways and may hold 
the key to future immunotherapies. However, the main challenge is here that the target cells, so-called tumor infiltrating leukocytes, are extremely rare and located in a difficult to process and very heterogenic environment, the tumor tissue. So how to efficiently isolate and analyze, for example, tumor infiltrating T cells, B cells, NK cells, or myelin cells? Our tumor microenvironment workflows allow the efficient dissociation of tumor material and subsequent tumor infiltrating leukocyte isolation with maximal efficiency and minimal cell loss. That way, the target cells can be analyzed in different ways to, for example, facilitate a complete multi-parameter tumor immunophenotyping, not only involving classical flow analysis and sorting, but also imaging-oriented analysis looking at the spatial distribution of tumor infiltrating leukocytes within the tumor tissue, either using light sheet microscopy with the ultra microscope 2 or imaging platforms such as the Maxima. Indeed, the Maxima imaging platform is one of our highlights that allows to stain tissue and cell cultures with hundreds of fluorescent antibodies sequentially to allow assessment of the spatial distribution of cells in tissue structures, for example, different tumor infiltrating leukocytes in the tumor microenvironment. Find more um, out about it in our recorded webinar, Isolation of Tumor Infiltrating Leukocytes and Optimized Workflows for Faster and Improved Analysis, presented by Dr. Cesar Evaristo. Another important topic is the generation of therapeutic antibodies. Antibodies can target tumor antigens or curtailing pro-tumorigenic factors and function in different ways. First, they can trigger the immune system to attack and kill the cancer cell. Second, they can block the growth signals. Third, they can prevent the formation of new blood vessels. In more detail, therapeutic antibodies can either block or activate receptor signaling and can thereby even induce programmed cell death or block tumor growth by binding for instant growth factor receptors. Moreover, they can neutralize or block pro-tumorigenic factors to inhibit tumor growth. Engineered antibodies conjugated to radioisotopes or chemotherapeutic drugs can target tumor cells directly and kill them. Antibodies can also be used to activate the complement cascade of the immune system, leading to cell lysis or complement-dependent cytotoxicity, also abbreviated CDC. Finally, the tumor-specific antibody can be used to attract effector cells via the FC part. The effector cells then actively kill the tumor cells. This approach includes NK cell-mediated antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity also called ADCC, macrophage-mediated antibody-dependent cellular phagocytosis, also called ADCP, and finally, T-cell-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, abbreviated TDCC. Here is an example for a workflow our customer could use for the generation of therapeutic antibodies and the products they might need. First, we have sample preparation for solid tumors. The tumor dissociation kit can be used to get a single cell suspension to isolate target B cells. However, some working with human samples might work with blood products as starting material instead of tissue. Here, sample preparation is not required and strides from PBMC B cell separation kits and microbeads are used. After the B cell separation with the respective beads or kits, the B cells will be analyzed using our reaffinity flow antibodies and the max quant cytometers. B cells can then be cultured for expansion. Human B cells can be expanded using the B cell expansion kit or other means. However, also for mouse B cells, many different cultural reagents are available. Finally, those B cells can be used for screenings and sequencing to be able to finally transiently express the monoclonal antibodies and test them for their functionality. Indeed, for the generation of therapeutic antibodies, the involved B cell culture can be quite challenging. For this reason, we developed a B cell expansion kit, including recombinant CD4 ligand, a cross linking antibody, and IL 4. This allows efficient expansion of B cells in vitro 
anti-expanded B cells display an activated phenotype with a similar distribution of memory in plasma cells as in the original fraction. The kit is a standardized and reproducible system that can be used in future for clinical processes requiring GP standards. However, other options such as more cytokines or TRL legions are also available. And as you can see, the B cells nicely expanded up to tenfold and upregulated activation markers such as CD86 and MHC class 2 according. Again, you can find out more in our recorded webinar. All you need for your immuno-oncology B cell research presented by Dr. Susanne Bethke. Our last example for today is the CAR T cell research workflow. So what are CAR T cells? CAR T cells are genetically modified T cells that express a chimeric antigen receptor, abbreviated CAR, specific for a given cell surface antigen, for example, a tumor antigen, and are therefore able to kill their target cells, for example, cancer cells. To manufacture them, either for research purposes or in a clinical manufacturing environment, usually donor or patient blood is collected. Then the T cells are separated and genetically modified to express a CAR with a given specificity. The modified T cells are then cultured and expanded to receive a relevant high number of CAR T cells and finally either analyzed in a research context or infused as so-called living drug into a patient where they can then kill, for example, the target cells. With our CAR T cell research workflow, we provide product solutions for every step of the CAR T cell workflow that allows the generation of CAR T cells in a research context. From T cell separation to CAR transduction to culture and expansion of the CAR T cells and finally the phenotypical and functional analysis. And thanks to the Max GMP product line and the Clinimax Prodigy, the described small-scale CAR T cell research workflow can be straightforward and seamlessly translated into a clinical manufacturing setting. And all this is, of course, also backed up by functional workflow data. CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cells were isolated either from PBMC, here labeled with Feigl plus MB, or directly from a Buffy code, here labeled with the abbreviation SF for our straight from product line, using MAX technology. Isolated cells showed highest purity and the physiological CD4 to CD8 ratio. Cells were then activated, transduced, and expanded using our extensive T cell culture portfolio. Analysis of activation marker expression such as CD25 and CD69 showed a very efficient activation. And transduction efficiency analysis showed also highest transduction rates. Finally, cells were tested for functionality, not only by surface marker analysis and cytokine release, but also for the real killing capacity. In summary, isolation, transduction, and culture of T cells with MAX technology leads to fully functional CAR T cells in small scale, as well as in a clinical manufacturing context. Again, find out more in our recorded webinar. Improve your CAR T cell research, presented by Dr. Saskia Rush. As a bonus, I'd like to point out the great hands-on training offered by MAX Academy. You can register for a training of interest on the Max Academy website, www.miltonibiotech.com slash resources slash Max Academy slash hands-on training. Amongst the many options, also IO relevant trainings are available, such as Clinimax Project TCT, CAR T cell analysis, and of course, many, many more. With that, I end this presentation and would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you, Marcello, for your informative presentation. We would also like to thank Labrus and our sponsor, Milton Biotech, for underwriting today's educational webcast. Before we go, I'd like to thank the audience for joining us today and for their interesting questions. Questions submitted today and those submitted during the on-demand period 
will be addressed by the speaker via the contact information you provided at the time of registration. This webcast can be viewed on demand. LabRoots will alert you via email when it's available for replay. We encourage you to share that email with your colleagues who may have missed today's event. Until next time, goodbye.